Hi, my name is Stephen Jones, and I'm the student ministries pastor here at Living Hope Church. This week, we've been highlighting mothers in Scripture, and today I'd like to tell you an unusual story from a very graphic, a very bloody period in Israel's history. The story begins with David and a famine that happened shortly after he became king. When he prayed and he asked God for insight, God revealed to him that the famine was a result of Saul, his predecessor's sin. That Saul, in his arrogant zeal for Israel, had broken the treaty with the Gibeonites that Joshua had established. And he had executed members of that clan. David reached out to the Gibeonites and he asked for the sake of righting that wrong, what could he do to make things right? And the Gibeonites requested that seven of Saul's sons and grandsons, his descendants, be executed, hung in public disgrace, and that that execution would be a way of atoning for Saul's broken treaty. David agreed to their demand and he turned over seven of Saul's sons and grandsons to the Gibeonites to be executed at the beginning of barley harvest. The scripture then tells us about Rizpah. She was the mother of two of those seven men who were executed. The story goes that after those men had been hung and their bodies had been left hanging, that Rizpah spread sackcloth. Sackcloth was a was a symbol of mourning and humiliation. That she spread sackcloth over a rock and that she stood guard by those seven men's bodies hanging from those trees for days and days and nights and nights. And all that she did during those days and nights was to keep the animals from attacking and feeding on the corpses of those dead men who were hanging. And she stayed there until the rains came. Now this is a strange story, but Rizpah is a powerful illustration of a mother whose love was stronger than death. You see, in Rizpah, a mother's love for her sons, her lost sons. We see in Rizpah a mother's faithfulness, a a gut-wrenching care for her sons in the most awful circumstances imaginable. We see in Rizpah a mother's hope, a hope in the mercy of God and that his judgment would relent. When David discovered Rizpah's sacrificial love and and what she had done for all of those days from the beginning of barley harvest until the rains came, he had the bodies taken down and he gave those bodies a proper burial with the same bones of Saul and Jonathan And the famine for the land ended. But in all of that story, we get a powerful example, a vision of a mother who, even in the face of death, simply would not give up.